ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Her face is mother, Carlisa. Once again, she's back viral. So all the drama started. I guess they have some type of Patreon reality TV show. I don't know, because I just, I'm just not into anything Blueface's family's on. But um, the son, Blueface's sister, and Blueface's brother are blasting the mother, okay? They're saying that she's not paying them, she's not sharing any of the revenue, and that basically she's a horrible mother. So I want to go ahead and read to you guys what, she, what he wrote. Uh, this is Blueface's older brother, Dre. This is just very, very weird. So, <clears throat> Dre says, talk about letting a girl beat you. You let two different husbands out their hands on, or put their hands on. Because of you, I went to prison, because you think being a mom is done by the world. You never taught me shit except for how to eat pussy. What the fuck? One time, which was weird as fuck, I learned everything I ever knew on my own. I forgot you existed most of my life. I had to catch the bus home from games, sit outside, catch a ride home with the janitor, getting good grades, and I'm two different and I'm in two different sports teams. All two, I can say you let me drive a car when I got my license. Shit, you had three of them. So basically he's saying that the only thing his mother ever taught him was how to eat coochie, which is just weird as hell. It, what? So then uh, he goes on to say this. So he says, Callie, which is a sister, left the show because you wasn't paying nobody, making almost 10K, you a weirdo, and you selfish, you been like that my whole life, and then try to steal my clothing brand, like for what? So now after that went viral, he took to social media and the mom took to social media to address him as well. All these people are just weird. I don't understand these parent-children relationships. They're very strange. So this was her responding to Dre. So let me share this with y'all. Just, she's just ratchet. Ask I don't know how you can teach anybody how to eat cat. I remember when the little girl tried to get her, get him to eat her ass, and I said, you don't eat nobody's ass. But when you old enough, the top part is okay, but you don't eat nobody's ass, son. So <laughs> maybe he been eating ass anyway. I don't fucking know. Oh, that you will not be seeing me on real family blues or cock sick or sock sick or whatever the heck it's called like i'm not going on it i won't be on it today is my son's birthday people want to shoot people don't care like it's just not for me people trying to make me into a, a like whoever they want to make me into like i if i can't come on the show it's me my nigga i'm not coming on the show i don't want to take no billboard show i don't want i don't want to do nothing like i don't want to do it it's not what i want to do so y'all not gonna see me on real blues family whatever the six socks or whatever the fuck i'm not gonna be on it okay i'm out of here so I'm gonna go turn her phone off and see if she can get the fuck back on Instagram. So if she can't get on Instagram from her phone number, you know who's paying her phone bill. I don't gotta never lie. All right. Carlisa is trash. I've been saying that for a, for a few years now. So now we're gonna listen to Dre. Um, Dre goes further into details. There's a channel called Keeping Up With The Blue. And I guess they keep it with all the blue face drama. Or blue faces family's drama. So we're going to go ahead and just watch a bit of what Dre has to say. Give me just a second here. This is just sad. Currently going off on his mom at Carlos at underscore angelic on Instagram. 
Hot I could have ran off with 50 Cent and got my own damn G-Wagon and left y'all motherfuckers at y'all grandmama house. I could have got, I could have went with 50, I could have went with Shaq, pretended like I didn't have no kids that, like that lady on the movie did, and hid y'all motherfuckers in the attic, and ran off and gave them some good booty and got me three or four G-Wagons. Fuck is you talking about? I'm built delicious. I'm 10 times Miss Jaden. I could have ran off with one of them mother suckers and said, F y'all. Fuck is you talking about? Somebody better tell these kids what I could have done, should have, would have did. Because we all know my body is click, click, clickety, clack, clack, without a BBL. So is my face. And I could have ran off with one of them celebrities and got me three or four G wagons and said bye to my kids and hid y'all in the attic. Blueface's brother Dre is currently going off on his mom at Carla's at part two. I just want you to realize. No more for the shit that you're able to do whatever the fuck you want to do, and there's no accountability. You treat your kids like shit. You treat your daddy like shit. You treat your mama like shit. You jumped your own fucking mama. Who jumped they mama? Cause they lit a cigarette in the car. Who jumped they mama and lied about the shit, bro? My grandma had to tell you with all the hurt in the world in her eyes that her daughter and her granddaughter jumped her. Come on, man. Niggas be trying to cap with that bullshit. Then you try to play Christian. You're not a Christian. You need to go to church. I go to church more than you. I go to church more than you, bro. Miss me with the bullshit, man. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk about it today because my feelings is like extra uber hurt. Did my own mother like try to steal my clothing? Bro? I've been working on this clothing brand since I was in prison. Trying to figure out how to, wait, how to provide for myself since prison, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to take your thing and I'm going to do this. She got sketches, man. She's showing me the sketches, talking. I'm like, you just been working on my shit? After you been, I told her I ain't want nothing for the show. You can have the show because I know you're not going to pay me anyway, so I'm not going to argue with it. I'm going to use the show to build my own little cloud up, spread my brand, get my shit out there. Cool. Then she stole my shit. Like, that's how much of a vulture this nigga is. You're not cool with just taking all the Patreon money, which is almost at $10,000 a fucking month. You almost making $10,000 a fucking month, bro. You ain't paid me or your daughter or your stepdaughter. And the whole show is us. Come on, man. So, I don't know. I, I, I'm going I'm to I'm never talk about this shit again after today, but my heart is broken today on everything I love. Like, I lost my mom today, you know? Because I, I can't never come back from this. Because, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to stop, bro. I'm going to stop. I should have been done wondering when she threatened my daughter. What type of motherfucker you know threaten their own granddaughter? Me and her are going to have a whole different conversation. They got nothing to do with no babies. My daughter is not even there. I'm telling her about the damn dog and she trying to say, you're just angry in the morning. I know I'm angry because you're coming down here yelling at me about these damn dogs. You yell at everybody. You beat up all your friends. She said, yeah, and it could be your daughter too. Your grandchild. This is the band she did, you know what I'm saying, that I was raised by. This is what I had to deal with. This is what I had to overcome. This is the person I had to still find a way to be a cool, decent person in spite of. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I, I might have low-key choked her that day. Like, like for real, like I, I just, my brain couldn't really fully process what the fuck was going on. She saw it, build it in me, she took off running and ran upstairs, but I just sat there for a minute like, did this bitch really just threatened my fucking daughter? Her granddaughter? And it could be your daughter too? How would you take that? If we argue and I say, you get into it with everybody and say, yeah, it could be your daughter too. How would you, like, what? Bitch, I, what? I low-key might, I, I don't know what I was going to do that day, bro, but I lost my shit that day. And I chased her upstairs and her husband dope fiend me, bro, and then like, she jumped on my back and then tried to lie and tell the story a whole different way. I don't know, man. I really think she do need Jesus. She made me not want to believe in God. Because I'm like, as much as you quote the Bible, there is no good in your heart at all. That little shit that happened them years ago with my brother that ruined his career, that ruined everything that he built, that was her. That was her selfish pride because she couldn't be the star, bro. It had nothing to do with my sister. It had nothing to do with shit, bro. She told me I had to put him in his place. My brother lost millions of dollars because you had an attitude. Changed his whole life. He worked hard to build everything that he built by himself. My mom didn't touch none of that shit. My mom gave up on him before he even started rapping. So my brother left school and went back to California. My mom was done with him. And then showed back up again when she seen him on BET trying to ask for something. And then when he gave, he was giving her little bits. Giving her 10 bands here, 5 bands there. She like, no, I need a car. I need a whole fucking house. I need this and that and some more shit. Nigga, you left me in a car. My brother almost died sleeping in a car, nigga. And this motherfucker was asleep fucking in a house a big ass house 
Still got a big ass house, bro. But then want to show up and ask for something. Miss me, bro. You know, I pray for it. I really do. All right, let me come back on the screen. Oof. The whole situation is sad. I just, I think that, I just don't think she's been the best mom. And again, parenting doesn't come with a handbook, right? Nobody has all the answers as a parent. But just seeing how her kids interact with her, like I could just tell like when I would watch her relationship with Blue, with Blueface, that there was no respect there. It was like he treats her like just one of the homegirls, one of the, you know, females at his house. Um, she wants to be her kids' friend. She wants to be seen as young. I think she was a teen mom as well. So it's like she still is, she's like stuck in the 90s. You're talking about I could have left y'all in the attic and ran off with Shaq and Snoop Dogg and, you know, gave up my booty for three G-Wagons. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? It is 2023. Those days are long gone. You're a grandmother. You know, you got grown kids. Like he said, like they have, they both ended up, both her sons are in gangs. Her daughter is dating a gangbanger. He ended up in prison for years. It's like she just did not do her job as a parent. And now she wants to find new fame off of what Blueface and Krishan have built. And it's just really sad. Now she's over there kicking and laughing, talking about, I don't know what he talking about. I never taught him how to eat no coochie. Honestly, I believe everything Dre is saying because remember when I did this video a few months ago when she was going around talking about how Blueface, um, her man's pin was bigger than Blueface. And I'm like, why do you, like, why is this even a thing? Like, why, like, why do you know how big your grown son's pin is? Like, that's, that doesn't make any sense. So let's go ahead. Let me refresh y'all's memory. Y'all know I keep receipts. We posted this a few months ago, and I even did a video on this. I don't mind if y'all say stay out his business. I don't mind if you say weird stuff. Just don't be saying the stuff about I want to sleep with him. That's just going too far, okay? I got my own dick over here, and it's bigger than my son's dick, okay? So we're going to get that all cleared up for y'all. Girl, shut the fuck up. Just odd and weird. I got my own dick over here and it's bigger than my son's. Like, that, that don't even, like, that, as a boy mom, that just even sounds gross, putting that together. Like, they're just weird. The whole family has issues. But again, the kids get their issues from the mama. And I feel really bad. You know, Dre just seems like he's very, very hurt. He's going through it. And she just does not have any respect for these children. The fact that they're grown, they're making their own way, they're trying to make their own path in life. And yeah, I, I believe what he's saying. I, I can definitely see her sitting there telling that boy how to eat cat. Because she just comes off like she wants to be her kids' friends so bad as opposed to actually being a parent. The fact that she would say that her man's peen is bigger than her son's is disgusting. So this woman has issues, but I think they need to stop allowing themselves to be exploited on that show, especially if they're not getting paid for it. At this point, Dre and the sister need to do their own reality show, you know, or do their own little Patreon show and not even be bothered with the mother. Because if, if they're not on her show, she has no show. The only thing she has is her talking about Krishan all day. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.